Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Wednesday, November 12th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. We're back in G4 geomagnetic storm once again. This just occurred oh, in the last three hours. We could be seeing some reverberations as the BZ is shifting south, and this may move higher, but that means aurora to low latitude. Buckle up, buttercup. A lot of people on Earth are picking up what we've been putting down. Keep calm. It's boom time. Well, 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 it's over, Johnny. Congress narrowly clears a bill to end the nation's longest government shutdown. It's over, Johnny. And all those people getting free money, well, it's going to start flowing. The House on Wednesday gave final passage to a spending package to reopen the government, sending the leg legislation to President Trump's desk, and all but guaranteeing an end to the longest shutdown in the nation's history on day 43. Thank goodness. Bad news for Southern California. Storms are forecast to worsen with periods of heavy rain possible and even flooding, potential tornado. And we're talking over three, maybe even five inches in some areas targeting L.A. Evacuation warnings have been issued for residents near the Palisades, the Eaton, the Hearst, and the Sunset Fire burn scars. It could get spicy, and we will be reporting on it as the mudslides occur. Quick look at Tornado HQ. No rain on the, uh, in Southern Cali just yet. We got some lake effect snow up in the Northeast. That's about it. And here is the full forecast. Tracking atmospheric river for the West Coast. Space weather storming continues. An atmospheric river will bring threats of gusty to high winds and heavy rainfall to California mainly Thursday into Saturday, which may bring areas of flooding and wind damage, especially in burn scar regions. Heavy snow will be possible over the Sierra Nevada mountains Thursday into Friday associated with this atmospheric river. We've got minor to severe geomagnetic storming expected to continue into early Thursday. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Here is the GFS model for snow through the end of November. And it's looking epic for the West. Good news for the Northeast. And, well, it's looking like a very good snow season overall. Quick look at the models. And we'll see when that atmospheric river will reach Southern California here. Let's run it through. Here is Thursday. And it's looking like Thursday night. Friday morning, and by Friday is when that rain will hit Southern Cal and will linger through Saturday. That's when a lot of the flooding will occur here over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday in Southern California, which will be their fun day. See another storm moving through the Northeast this weekend, be dumping some more snow in the high elevations, and then system after system hits the West, and well, just piling up the snow. Here's the total snowfall for the model set and we'll run it through here. Here is all of Thursday. You're going to see some significant snow in the Northeast all day tomorrow. And by tomorrow night, you can see there in the Sierras, the snow is going to start to hit the Northern Sierra crest. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and by the end of the weekend, we're going to be picking up heavy totals here in the South Sierras in the Four Corners region. Good news, because there is no snow in the mountains. And that's System 1. And then we've got 2. And then we've got three. And by the end of November, the West is going to be freezing and covered in the global warming goodness. And Al Gore can suck it. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. No bunt cake for Al tonight. Seismic update. We've got some rumblers, and it could be uh, sparked off by the space weather and that incoming shockwave just hours ago. Nothing significant, which is good news but activity is occurring worldwide. Here we've got a 5.3 in Cyprus. Very interesting quake there. Worldwide Volcano News for the 12th of November. Reventador, 16,000 foot first on the list. Planchon Petaroa, 14,000 foot blast there. 6,000 foot puff at Ibu, Santa Guito. No volcanic ash observed. Ongoing volcanic ash at Fuego. Volcanic eruption reported today at Semadu. Who knew? Now you do. Reventador, volcanic ash ongoing. 6,000-foot puff at Ibu. 6,000-foot puff at Liwotolol. Sangay, sporadic emissions. Santa Guito, possible volcanic ash. Continuous ash to 15,000 feet at Planton, Pitaloa. 6,000-foot puff at Ibu. 6,000 at Liwotolol. 
Nivada de Ruiz, the eruption has ended. An eruption reported at Semadu. Um, not much going on today. The normal volcanoes are puffing and passing. 17,000 foot blast here from Reventador. 21,000 foot blast from San Gay. That's a slight uptick there. And that wraps up worldwide volcano news for the day. Northern Lights display expected for a second night in a row for the United States, and it's ongoing. These were shots hours ago as the third CME from the X5.1 arrived. And this is the aurora over Stonehenge. Absolutely spectacular. We just, and that was when it hit KP6. We are now at G4 geomagnetic storm, KP7 plus, essentially KP8. The auroral forecast is lighting up and we should see that red glow all the way down to South Dakota. Not as far as last night, uh, but it is glowing red outside right now. So that is good news here. The third CME passed Earth, G2 storm in progress. We're now at G4, and well, more to come, but it's over after tonight. The reverberation, look at that geomagnetic storming conditions have now been for over 24, 28 hours continuously. And that's care to this secondary push-up here in the plasma speed, now in the 1,000 kilometers per second trajectory. We've got density increasing. And the reason we went to G4 is because the BZ is now shifting south. If it goes further south, this will get even higher. So get out and look up, especially if you're in the northern states. And many people are waking up to the fact that nothing like this has been ever been happening in their entire lifetime. We've had G5 geomagnetic storms, dozens of them in the last several decades, but none of them, and this is only G4 or, or strong G3, have brought aurora all the way down into the low latitudes and to the places where people are uh, observing it. It's not harp. It's not geoengineering or anything stupid. On the internet, it's our, it's our magnetosphere waning. And well the effects of space weather are getting more and more severe with weaker and weaker storms. Let's talk about interstellar comet 3I Atlas. Its tail is still growing. Uh, it's growing even longer, and the anti-tail is growing as well. This is an electric comet. This is an image from the 11th of November, which is yesterday, and we can see kind of multiple tails. The imagery is terrible. This object is so far away, even our best ground-based telescopes can only provide images like this. Those are the facts. And well, in just a few months, this object is going to be so far away, everyone will forget about it. Not a spaceship. The U.S. Mint in Philadelphia presses its final pennies as the one-cent coin gets canceled. Guys, this is a sign of the times. If we're canceling the penny, that means we're canceling all money eventually. Yeah. Yeah. One cent doesn't even matter. Up or down, a nickel? Yeah, we'll just round it out. They'll probably round it up so that someone gets a little kickback from this. Save your pennies. They are going to be priceless in the coming years. And save your precious metals. Many people are speculating this is the lowest price you will ever see silver in your lifetime. And at $54, an all-time high, Many are speculating within a year it'll be up over $200, gold to $8,000. Do not miss out as fiat currency goes broke, no joke, and is eliminated in the coming years, and everything goes digital. Precious metals are going to soar because people are going to be terrified about not, not having some type of physical, tangible thing they can hold, trade, and barter with, like precious metals. It is my position that by the end of the year, silver will be above $60, and by the end of next year, could be approaching $150. Don't miss out. Convert your IRA with no penalty into precious metals now with Gold Co., the industry leader. From direct purchases of gold and silver, they've helped thousands of Americans diversify and protect their retirement savings. So you can get a precious metals IRA. You can just tell them to ship you silver and gold or if you don't have a place to store it, they will store it for you. And you just buy the bullion. At any time, you can get it shipped directly to you. Request your free 2025 gold and silver kit now. No obligation. Links below. 
And don't miss out on the fastest high-speed internet. If a grid-down scenario occurs and you have a backup battery or a generator, Starlink will work. It's up in space. The infrastructure is not on Earth. So in a grid-down scenario, if you have Starlink, it may save your... <whistles> and right now, it's the cheapest it's ever been. It's free. I paid five, $600 for my Starlink. It's now... Zero dollars. It's free with free professional setup service as at 80 bucks a month. I pay 120. It's in select areas now with this offer. Just type in your service address. See if you qualify for the fastest high speed internet for free. It's that simple. It's a no brainer. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Get outside and look north. And hopefully you can see some Aurora. We love each and every one of you. The most important thing you can do tonight is hit the subscribe button. It's going to help our channel grow. We love you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Mm -hmm.